Hey everyone, this is Thomas Edwards, creator of The Intentional Self and founder of The Professional Wingman, and I want to welcome you to The Weekly Intention. The Weekly Intention shares personal stories of the trials of life, the triumphs and tribulations that come with it, and the gifts called lessons from the stories that you can apply to your own life so you can live it with intention. This week has been a week of sickness. Uh, you can even hear my voice. My entire family has been sick this week. And it started earlier in the week with my daughter being sick and having a fever. And for all you parents out there, you know it's almost inevitable that we as parents are gonna get sick too. And so my sickness didn't really hit until late, you know, late in the week. And in this time, taking care of her, watching her, I noticed something really interesting that even though at times she was lethargic, at times she wasn't willing to eat, she barely had any energy, she was still hardwired, hardwired for growth and development. And it got me thinking, you know, when did it stop for us as adults or as humans to be, to stop growing, to stop developing? And it made me realize, wow, this is like a self-imposed thing that we choose to stop growing and stop developing. I mean, when we think about it, outside of a special circumstance such as disease or, in, in my case, caretaking for someone else who's sick, there's typically two reasons why one would be sick, in my experience. One, it's either burnout or burning down, essentially. And I'll give you, re you know, kind of definitions of the two. Burning out basically means that you've maxed out, right? Your, your, your tank is on E, you've been uh, doing, putting forth so much effort into things that you eventually your body just wears down. It's like running a marathon and you can't you know, complete it because you've just maxed out your body. Your body just gets into a place where like, I need to shut down. Uh, now burning down is something very different it, it looks the same but it's very different burning down comes to the point where you give up or you feel like you can coast and what turns into a lot of sheer motivation and drive and, and energy and momentum turns into complacency and laziness and turns into all the things that you worked for you end up not maintaining this was something that I was notorious for doing back in my uh, late teens and, er and early 20s, where I'd worked really, really, really hard to build the life that I want, and then once I got there, I let up. I was complacent. I spent more time enjoying the life than I was maintaining, and it still shows up even to this day. I mean, there's times where I, were, I was working so hard, and when I got to level of success that I was happy with, that complacency kicked back in and I thought, oh, I can coast for a little bit. And the moment I let off the gas, the moment I decided to not look into maintenance was when things started to fall apart. And I'm not just talking about sickness, I'm talking about in all phases of your life. And you know, when you ever get sick, and once again, I'm showing you my experience, whenever I get sick, I used to, I used to play up the victim mindset. You know, woe is me. I, push my wife to, to take care of me. I would do little to nothing. And I just carry on this mindset that like, I won't get better, that I can't get better. And that mentality leads to me feeling more sick or if I'm sick, I'd be sick for a much longer period of time. You know, the big thing here that I, I've come to realize is that even in sickness as an adult, it's so important to continue to grow and to continue to develop. You know, we as adults, like my, my daughter doesn't have a choice, right? She, I have to make sure that she, we as parents, my wife and I have to make sure that she gets better, that she gets well. And we also have to create an environment that is conducive of her continuing to grow and continue to learn and continue to develop as she gets closer to two years and, and so on and so forth. But who's responsible for us to continue to grow and develop? You know, I, for some reason, in my mind, I thought, you know, once I become an adult and I'm left off on my own, that my parents would know, let me on my own, that that's when my development, my growth is done. And so all the efforts that I've done was from zero to 21, when in reality, that's when really it begins. Real growth starts when you're on your own. And ultimately, the lesson I want to share with you guys is pretty simple. We... You, I, 
am responsible for my growth and development or lack thereof. You know, we can always choose how we want to grow and if we choose to grow. And just like my daughter, you know, her growth and development is completely accelerated. And we are astonished. I mean, I, I'm astonished at how quickly, but here's the thing, we've, we've all been through this as children, as babies, as infants, as toddlers. We've all grown and accelerated and shown that development on such a crazy curve. But why can't that be the same today as adults? Why can't we develop and grow? Now, it doesn't mean that you need to burn both ends of the candle and completely wipe yourself out. Now, these days, you can grow and develop at any weight you wish or not. Once again, you can choose not to grow if you don't want to. That is just your choice. And even when you're sick, you can still do things. I mean, even for me, consuming information and content is something that I choose to do or listening to an audiobook or reading a lesson or doing something that continues to allow me to to push myself just a little bit, just enough that I'm not overexerting myself or burning out. Now, the key thing here is that personal growth and development is a long-term game with little to no instant gratification. This is probably something that you <laughs> don't wanna hear in, in a world where it's designed based on instant gratification. If the instant gratification that you do end up feeling and experiencing comes from knowing that what you did today will be one of many things that you do to get closer to your target and closer to your goal. And some examples are just working out. You know, you, you don't go and go to the gym for the first time in six months and all of a sudden now you're a bodybuilder or a long distance runner or, or uh, an, a, you know, a, a personal trainer now, right? Those results come from daily commitments to going to the gym or working out. You know, all of a sudden you have a good meal and it doesn't mean all of a sudden you lose all the excess weight that you've been trying to do overnight, right? These are, when you get to the point where you feel your best when it comes to your working out, it's because of all the, the days of committed practice to getting there. When you're in, when you're feeling you've lost the weight and your body feels healthy, it's a result of daily decisions that you've made to eat better. It's not going to be an overnight process. Even in dating, we think that all of a sudden that, you know, we're just going to go out to the bar and all of a sudden we're going to meet the love of our lives and everything's just going to be great. And while in some anomalies that is the case, in most cases, it's not true. You still need to learn how to develop skills, develop ability to connect with others, to grow a relationship, to have tough conversations and to grow together and to maintain what you've built together. When you choose to grow and to develop, it's meant for long-term growth, not for instant gratification. And ultimately, that's what you want at the end of the day. There is a happy medium that you can find in your life that allows you to continuously grow and learn without feeling the need to push the pedal to the metal every single time until you run out, until you burn out. Because ultimately, you can't leave a legacy if you don't exist. And taking care of yourself and making sure that you're able to show up every single day is so important for crafting and leaving that legacy. My question for you is where in your love, lifestyle, leadership, and legacy do you find yourself burning out for doing too much or burning down because you're not taking care of yourself to maintain or you're gonna or you're complacent or you're lazy? And what is your intention to Take back control of not only how you get better, but also to continue growing and developing. We all have opportunities for growth and development under any circumstance. I would say most circumstances. I wouldn't say any, but most circumstances. And we're in total control of whether we grow or don't grow. You know, it's, it's not a requirement for you guys to grow. I'm not here sitting here telling everyone or compelling everyone to grow. I mean, if you don't want to grow, that is your choice. That is the life that you choose to live. But for those who are looking to grow, you have control over the pace, you have the control over the amount of growth, just like you, you were able to when you were just a little kid and that growth was so accelerated. There are no rules as to when we stop choosing to grow. The greatest philosophers of our time, they had continued to push the limits and grow and develop even to their last dying breath. And so why can't we take up upon that responsibility for ourselves to continue to grow and develop 
and to be better, no matter what the condition is. And this, me being sick and watching my daughter, you know, sick and my wife sick, it made me realize that we all still have choices within our means. You know, my daughter doesn't see a choice in being complacent or lazy or playing victimhood. She only knows to grow and to develop and to explore and that curiosity. And that inspires me to want to do the same for myself. And so every day is an opportunity to grow and develop and to increase my curiosity and get that back. And I want you to be able to do the same. These are the kind of things that we talk about in my programs and I talk one-on-one with my clients all the time. And if you're trying to understand how you can grow and how you can develop and what kind of structure, what kind of system is there that can help you do that in a way that betters your life and allows you to live your life with intention, let's jump and talk about it. You can go to thomasedwardsjr.com slash talk and we'll be on the phone and we'll have a conversation about what you can do to live your life with more intention. So until the next time, this is Thomas Edwards saying, keep it simple, be amazing, and live intentionally.